Okay, so before we even get into this video today, I will have to mention that you're going to get a lot of information from the comment section. After this video, I can already assume that there's going to be a lot of people that may agree and also disagree. So if you have any disagreements or agreements, leave them down in the comments. But let's get to it. So here today, we're going to be talking about indoor versus outdoor weed, which is a topic that I haven't really necessarily seen a lot of people cover and a lot of people haven't fully covered it in a way that actually makes a lot of sense. A lot of people just say that indoor is much better because it's easier to keep it clean, I guess. It's easier to make sure that it doesn't get any any infections or any anything that goes wrong due to bugs or any other pesticides that come into play in a natural way but when you do it indoors it's not getting enough actual natural support to be able to get to its fullest level so i'm going to give you guys some of the pros and some of the cons for indoor and also for outdoors so let's just go over the pros first so we can give you a pleasant outlook on it to start let's say that the good thing about it or the most important thing that actually makes it so a lot of people do it is because it's hidden once it's indoor it is hidden you can regulate who actually sees it and who gets access to it so if you have nosy neighbors if you have nosy people that live around you then indoor might just be the best thing for you and it might just be a situational thing that it's great for but that is definitely a huge advantage that indoor has is the fact that you can just regulate who sees it. That is something that is dope. So that's a huge plus. Also, another huge plus is the fact that you can regulate a lot more than just who sees it. You can also regulate the amount of light that it gets, which could play a role in some different things, whether it's the looks, whether it's a lot of different things say if you were to regulate how much light it actually gets you could produce some light depths where it is turning purple looking somewhat good and that's just due to the fact that you deprived it of some light in a process where it actually kind of needed some light which is what it is so that is somewhat of a pro for the indoor you can regulate the light you can regulate those types of settings where it's going to change some parts of the flower for sure it definitely 100% will change it so that is definitely something that could be a pro another major one is the fact that there's no animals or bugs that will get access to it as long as you're not doing a living soil process if you're doing a living soil process then you will have bugs in there that will be helping the whole process actually come to a final and actually be seen through so those bugs could be great but the bugs that I'm talking about right now or are the ones that may harm it the spider mites the different things that still could happen indoors but are probably more prone to happen outdoors which is definitely an advantage once you go indoors. I think that all of those different things that you can avoid when it comes to pesticides and nonsense that bugs could actually leave on the product, it definitely is a huge advantage. And I actually do see the fact that a, uh, a greenhouse would be much better than actually just doing it completely outdoors. But we'll talk about that in depth in a bit. Let's get to another positive of the indoor would be shorter growing time this is something that can actually help when you are trying to produce more and more flour when you grow it outdoors for some reason it will take a bit longer and also you are going to be limited on how many harvests you can actually have throughout that year so if you are in a in an area such as me where you're in massachusetts you'd be limited to maybe one harvest per year if you're lucky there's some times that the weather is completely bipolar 
and you'll never know what you're gonna get so it definitely would be best for someone like or somewhere like Mendocino or Humboldt County but there's definitely places that are better places that are worse so when it comes to indoor it definitely is an advantage that the fact uh, the fact that the plants will have a shorter process in which it grows which is good but is also bad in the bigger picture it takes away from the quality so the harvest and the rate of speed can be an advantage for the indoor so the last pro for indoor is just the fact if you are a legal brand it is much easier to get a permit a permit for a indoor grow it's very hard to get one for outdoors due to the fact that you are kind of baiting people into robbing you you're baiting people into doing stuff that could lead to insurance companies having to to actually do their job but what are the pros for outdoor let's go through them so outdoor weed what are the pros where do we even start with this one let's start with it just being more natural let's start with it being better for the earth i think that this is the most important thing when it comes to anything that we are digesting anything that's actually going into our bodies probably should be clean i think that it would be the best most effective thing to be doing is making sure that anything that we put into our bodies is actually going to be clean and actually going to be produced in a manner where we actually can be comfortable with so when it's grown outdoors it is going to be much cleaner it's going to be a lot more natural and overall it's definitely going to be better for you long term so i feel as if that is the biggest pro and the thing that honestly should make any of the pros for the indoor kind of not even matter at all but let's go further outdoor weed actually has larger buds it has bigger nugs bigger stems or thicker stems it's definitely going to have a thick stem that is going to be natural it's not going to look like some brittle little frittle frittle thing i don't even know if frittle is a word but it's not going to look brittle and just easily broken if you have outdoor weed the stems on them are thick let me show you This stuff is actually grown in a greenhouse, but I think you can see what I'm saying. These look like tree branch stems. It is wild, but it is natural and it is good for you when it is grown like this because it actually is fully getting the nutrients that it needs to be able to get as healthy as it possibly can. And that's why you see the larger buds you see the thicker stems because it's actually feeding when it needs to. It's actually getting all the proper sunlight, not radiation from a weird LED light or HPS. It's actually getting the proper sunlight and it's getting the vitamins that it needs. It's getting all of the nutrients that it needs to actually see itself through to its best self. So that's a huge advantage. But let's go on so this one right here is a major one this one right here honestly should show people that outdoor is much better but let's get to it the trichome density when we are looking at outdoor weed we are able to see that for some reason it's not really a surprise but for some reason the trichomes are a lot more dense they're much bigger and there is a lot more of them which would make it so that it's going to get you higher because it has more THC on it 
what trichomes actually are, are this. Trichomes are actually the place where THC and aromatic terpenes are produced, which would mean that the trichomes are responsible for what gives off the smell, what gives off the taste, and actually what gets you high. So that in turn is the reason why people buy hash. It is the reason why the hash rosin wave is so major right now is because what hash rosin actually is is just the trichome heads and they are completely extracted from the flower and turned into hash and then usually that hash is turned into hash rosin which is the most clean and effective way to smoke cannabis which is just only due to the fact that it is the trichomes which is going to be much more dense and much more populated on an outdoor plant on an outdoor plant it is able to get the sunlight and all the proper vitamins and nutrition it needs to be able to ensure the fact that the trichomes will grow to the level that they're supposed to let's say like that but there's also a few more things that put the cherry on top of why outdoor weed is better so let's just go over them right now this one right here necessarily isn't something that i am always aiming towards because usually when you spend a little bit you get a lot back it is just a way of business you have to invest to get a return but when it comes to outdoor weed you don't have to invest a lot to actually get a major return so that is a huge advantage when it comes to outdoor versus indoor you can get a very very good production level with no real investment so let's say it like that it is definitely something that is very cheap when it comes to cost and that is major i think that anyone that's growing a plant probably isn't necessarily going to jump into that process with bags of money or if you are you're probably going to do it the wrong way so if you don't have bags of money and you are trying to learn how to do this and you're trying to learn how to do this properly outdoor is definitely the route because you don't necessarily have to pay for the lights you don't have to pay for the controlling of the environment you don't have to pay for all that nonsense that comes with the indoor but it definitely could be cheaper product depending how much love and attention you show it so just because it's cheaper it doesn't mean that it's going to be as good or better there's actually a huge chance that it will be much worse if you aren't showing it the attention it needs so just because it's cheaper doesn't mean that you can cheap out on how much time that you actually show the plant something i want to add in there so the last and final one is the yield you actually get a bigger yield outdoors than you will indoors indoors you will get these small little buds that aren't really going to be dense at all they're not going to hold a lot of weight at all and it makes sense why they won't but you actually will get the bigger buds outdoors and you will actually see a larger amount off each plant and that's due to a lot of things obviously it's due to the lights that's i think the major thing but it's also due to the fact that the plant is able to feed a lot more outdoors but this is definitely a major thing harvest and yield are something that a lot of indoor people look at as oh i'm gonna get more inside but your yield will most definitely always be more outdoors when you're talking about how much yield you're going to get per plant so that is definitely a huge advantage but let's talk about the cons the cons when it comes to indoor weed there's a lot of them the plant isn't going to be able to get to its fullest that is just obvious everyone knows that anyone who knows about cannabis will know that you won't be able to you won't be able to manipulate the plant into producing the same stuff it would outdoors 
inside. It's just not possible. It is something that a lot of the people who are running these different grow supply brands are trying so hard to do at the moment. Everyone's talking about, oh yeah, this will help you grow more. This will help you do this, grow faster. No one's talking about growing better. No one's talking about the quality. And let me put in a little clip to prove that. So as you can see, even the supposed big dogs in the game are saying this. No one is necessarily worrying about the quality when it comes to the materials that people are using indoors. Everyone's using Athena because they know that it's going to produce a faster yield or it's going to produce a faster harvest. And it's also going to make it look fancy when the weed won't even smell or taste like anything. So there's a lot of flaws that come when it, when it comes to indoor. I think that the appearance is definitely something that a lot of people look at as a positive or a plus, but it's actually a negative because just because the stuff looks so beautiful doesn't make it better, doesn't make it cost more, doesn't make it this, that, or this, that, or anything better. But what it is doing is making people charge more and it is burning their bridges. It is making a lot of people think that a lot of brands are just not worth spending their money on at all because the stuff looks really good, but then it doesn't smoke. And then it just makes a lot of people question other brands that actually have stuff that looks good, but they're like, does it smoke like this weird nonsense that I just got? Possibly. As I mentioned before, th another negative when it comes to indoor is the smaller buds. The smaller buds are something that aren't going to be something that a lot of people are going to be big fans of at all. If you get a bag full of small buds and it just looks like it was picked out from the bottom of someone's turkey bag, then you are going to feel played and even if the stuff is their top buds. It's possible that some people are producing the top buds, the stuff that's at the top of their plant, and it's still looking like the bottoms because it's just grown indoors and they're not using the right additives or fertilizers to ensure that it is actually naturally getting to the level it's supposed to. So it's producing these little teeny, teeny little things that aren't something you want to look at. It's not something that is good. So they have to throw it in some weird fancy mylar bag to even get rid of it. It is just a weird process when it comes to the indoor commercial grown stuff. So that's a huge, huge negative. But one of the other huge negatives that I think a lot of people overlook is the stems. If the stem is so brittle and small on indoor plants, then how is that a healthy plant at all? How is that plant actually feeding in any proper way? The stem is what it actually feeds off of. It's what it grows off of. So if it's this small little brittle stem that you could break without any force at all, then what is that? How is that possible? That is genetically modified nonsense at that point. So the stem being smaller, I look at as a negative when it comes to indoors. But let's just talk about a few negatives for outdoors so that we're not just bashing one side. One of the major ones is the pests. You definitely will have a lot more chances of your plant getting contaminated with some sort of pests when it is outdoor. That is just part of the game. It's part of the process and it is something that is definitely a huge negative in some ways. So that's one big negative. But another one is the fact that you could have a com you could have a complete waste of a harvest if one minor thing goes wrong. There's a lot of things that you can do indoors to change change how it's going to actually finish and bring it back to life so to speak but outdoors it is a lot 
of chances that it's going to go completely wrong and it's not going to be able to get fixed so this is definitely something that holds people back from outdoors and honestly in the bigger picture what i would say i prefer is definitely outdoor or greenhouse flower i definitely would say i prefer that because at the end of the day there's a lot more actual real positives to it it's not just positives that are good for financial reasons when it comes to indoors a lot of the pros that i've listed and a lot of the pros that any other person would list are basically just pros when it comes to financial or commercial growth so this is definitely something that people should take into account if they're actually consuming products if you're consuming indoor weed there's a huge chance that people are cutting corners and making sure that process is faster and that should scare you to an extent it is what it is it's not necessarily a good thing but when you educate yourself on it you can stay away from it so i definitely would say outdoor obviously is the cleaner and better way so if you agree or disagree definitely let me know in the comments this is definitely a conversation that i'm open to having i think that this is definitely something that can be really good for the community so let's have this conversation i appreciate you stay blessed